in the wide, wide world of interactive media, there has been people that thought that video games could be more than just mindless entertainment. They could be used to teach and educate people. These are the results. Welcome to part one of the three-part series of shitty educational games. This episode, Three Dinosaur Hunter. Oh, we got a wheel on two disc set. Uh, but uh, if you if you below seven, stop stop watching now. This this might be a bit too scary for you. I mean, look at this character right here. He's he's a. Uh, the fuck still uses CD-ROMs? What even is was this? What even was this? This is a fucking survival horror. Let's go to the end. She, my. Early survival horror games. There's a door. Guess we can go here. I guess we're in a museum. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Jesus, how, how do you do this puzzle? God damn, I know nothing about dinosaurs. Tharia Forens. <laughs> oh, that's lovely. Where's this door go to? Lovely ominous music. Great. Point and click survival horror. Shit, what's this? Ah. You have to get the bones. Nice effect. Yeah, this isn't a triceratops. How do you put it back? There you go. Oh shit, no okay. Kudos to the developers on this one. I mean, like, they really gave you the whole atmosphere of just being, like, trapped underground, even though, like, literally all they're doing is. Nope. I mean, listen to that hideously compressed audio music. Even though you got a ridiculous shitty 90s style, that's gonna straighten my basket. I have no clue what I'm doing. I think we're gonna assume the uh, puzzle. That's not a tooth, that's a this bit. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. 
Oh shit. Here we are, a T-Rex tooth. Back up to the top. We can complete this puzzle. See what happens. Oh shit. Oh dear. Oh Jesus. Right, there's the survival horror element. Let it go. We don't know. Oh Jesus. Oh no. There it is. Right, we gotta escape this facility. While we still can. Survival horror now. Well, what the fuck? I don't know what the quiz on. Thank you. Thank you very much. AV Mimus. <laughs> That looks like an ostrich. That's not an Avomimus. Oh, well, it is an Avomimus, but it looks like an ostrich. Well, that's the one with the cover. Giganotosaurus. Giganotopenus. <laughs> Min me. <laughs> Min me. Min my. Oh. Min my. Jesus Christ, that spooked me. Oh, Jesus. Nope, that is a major nope right there. I did not expect that. Ugh. Oh, we've been here before. Yeah, how you doing? There's, there's my good friend, the Edmund Tony, say hi. Thank you. You little. You little. Oh, little Edmund. <gasps> Well, we're dead. Dead to the crudely animated T-Rex. That's a right one around the museum. Or I could just ignore us and just like run straight on with that's perfectly fine by me. When hatching, a baby dinosaur would have turned so that its snout was facing the weaker, blunt end of the egg. Once in that position, it would have tapped against the eggshell with its egg tooth to form a circular opening. It may have made sounds so that its mother was aware that hatching was taking place. When the circular cut was complete, the hatchling would have pushed the top of the shell off and emerged. Some species of dinosaur would have stayed in the nest while its parent fed and protected it. Three D Dino World. Well, let's go Triceratops. Why not? These mathematical four is a little bit of six inches. A little cost per square. A little bit of that. A little few screenshots of this. Blah blah blah. Well. Well then. Well, uh, here's our first problem, and look at this fucking disc, it's beyond repair, Jesus Christ. What was that? Jesus. Well... At least we have to find a museum. <clears throat> Coming from nostalgia purposes, 3D dinosaur hunters is alright, I guess. Because, I mean, like, I remember playing this as a kid. Oh, Shitty, shitty, like Windows XP computer. But that's probably why it's scratched, so. But I mean, you never really see any educational video games nowadays. I guess maybe it's just me. I don't know. But it's you know it was really interesting. Just a piece of history. Let's see what the uh, 
play next week. Because I've got two more shitty educational games in, in this box. Okay, let's see what we got. Star Wars Math. Jabba's Game Galaxy. I swear to Christ, did that require like a fucking as much effort to install as this did? I ain't gonna bother. Actually, I will bother. See you next week, guys. Jesus Christ, it was fucking dust here. I haven't used an eight. Fucking 2013 11 installing Skyrim since I last used this fucking shitty. Who even uses this?